two things hard work determination and scientific way of doing things okay i did that and i'm releasing so african people they're just believing that during night if you just call salt they, they're just believing that it's not good according to the culture of africa yeah so that's why the most of the african people they used to call this one a uh, dawa yamboga you mean that med sort of medicine medicine of vegetable Also I just want to open the process like this one. Mm. You have to get some man to buy the some firewood there. Okay. You know, you have to buy something like this one. So you can see the most of the African people, their life is not good. So that's why they can't do something like that one. But everyone like to do this one. Problem is finance yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. This is the village of Chumbin. Yeah. It is it has salt in the name because of the small salt farm that used to be here. The owner of this salt farm died five years ago and his family don't have interest to take it over the village depending on the farm when water comes or the flood comes they come indirect to the house and then to broken that one because there is no farm a salt farm wall there unwanted water. It uh, doesn't form salt again. It's not uh, saturated in sodium chloride anymore. So you remove that. It's poison for the salt. So we have to remove that. This is it. This pond is dry. I've extended them to put in water here. You can't, you can't let it stay dry. No area in salt mine should be dry. That is the main problem. People are not visiting the salt works. They keep it at the mercy of the person inside. It's 
ready to pick. You can see the salt. Hmm. Almost ready. Tomorrow they'll pick. The shed, that one, which you know, I, I destroyed. You know, dismantled it. After eight years. That was, you know, very thin uh, woods. But these are sturdy. With, you know, that thick, thick poles. Uh, you know, I have a guarantee of 20 years. Maybe Magut after 10 years. Somebody came from Dar es Salaam. Yeah. He put he, he put his all all his investment here in the salt farm. He made a new one, and uh, at the end of the year, he d he did not even get half a kilo of salt. So he tried again the next year for the next season. Put in some more professional people. Brought in from Tuara, the local person who is you know manufacturing salt. Professional in a, in a local way. He came in. The second year, he did not get salt. Third year, he took loan again uh, uh, from the bank. That uh, traditional uh, tradition person, person, witchcraft person, told him, you know, something bad has been buried here into your farm. Or something bad, somebody has, you know, something bad, very bad for you. You will not get salt. So he says, what, what should I have to do to human beings? Now, thanks to United Nations Development Program, UNDP, they came in here and put three pilot projects. One at Chumvini area, second at uh, Mayare, and third in Morongo. The reason of making this pilot project is to show others in the coastal area how to do salt in a scientific way. Then I asked him, uh, are you producing salt? He says, yes, I'm doing too good. I'm taking 1,000 tons per year. For the last three years, I was not getting anything. This year, you know, thanks to the United Nations Development Program. Then I asked him, what about that sacrifice of the two human beings? He says, all bad, all bad. These witchcraft people, is all bad. They all need money. What is important is, you know, take seawater, sedimentation of uh, unwanted elements, till it reaches sodium chloride and uh, evaporation. That's the main thing. If you know the concept of it, we are producing salt.